In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Today the church remembers um, St. Basil the Great and St. Gregory Nanzianzen. Both were bishops, both were very learned men. Uh, Understand it took the church a quarter of a century to come to the point of being able to articulate that Jesus was both human and divine. And these two saints um, uh, help develop that doctrine and give us the philosophical constructs that allow us to, uh, the church to talk about it. So we honor them today as really foundation, um, in many ways, to the Christology of the church. They lived in the fourth century. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. The almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor the Father, Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, you were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops St. Basil and Gregory. Grant that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. But whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise he made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from him remains in you. So that you need not, so that you need not anyone to teach you. But this anointing teaches you about everything, and is true, and not false. Just as it taught you, remain in Him. And now, children, remain in Him, so that when He appears, we may have confidence, and not be put to shame by Him at His coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All All the ends ends of the the earth earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. In times past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, I am not the Christ. So they asked, What are you then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you a prophet? No, he answered. So they said to him, Who are you? So that we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, made straight the way of the Lord, Isaiah, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent, and they asked, Why do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered, I baptize with water. But there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. Now this happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. So we, uh, we heard this gospel um, in Advent and a run up to Christmas when we heard about the ministry of John the Baptist pointing others out to the presence of Jesus. I think the uh, application for us today is to realize as we kind of settle back into normal life, um, it's now for us to point Jesus out for other people to help them recognize where they do not see the Lord. Um, in the poor and the disadvantaged, in our neighbor who is burdened with a, a challenge in life with, in family or health or what have you, Jesus is all around us. And our challenge today is, is to help other people, first of all, make sure we have the eyes of faith, that we can recognize Jesus in other people and help others to do the same thing and give witness to Jesus by our compassion, our love, our charity, our mercy, our, our forgiveness. So today as we recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread at this table, let us pray that it will sharpen our eyes, our, that we might have the insight to see Jesus in others and help others to realize that Jesus has indeed taken on our human flesh, our blood, and he lives in all of us. Let us now stand and bring our prayers to the mercy of the Lord. that the Holy Spirit may inspire the church and modern day prophets who will proclaim Christ boldly and effectively. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant to those in authority the humility to be truthful rather than ambitious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may bring consolation and firm hope to all who are suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may give to our faith community the grace to be his hands and feet in service to our neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may soon be cleansed of all remnants of sin so as to enter the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Fra Francis Garner, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or whom do we pray today?
for peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Lord, I accept this sacrifice from your people and make what is offered for your glory in honor of St. Basil and Gregory a means to our eternal salvation. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. On the feast of this all-filled mystery, Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages has begun to exist in time. So that by raising up himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call strained humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but to... Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace buster. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Almighty God, may partaking at the heavenly table confirm and increase our strength from on high. And all who celebrate the feast of St. Basil and Gregory, may we persevere in integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation. We pray through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us this, the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of that kingdom where you live and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. 